Hello everybody and welcome back to Nick Plays Mass Effect. It's been a few days since I've last played this and I've been playing a lot of other games. Specifically like... Uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Anyways, <laughs> so we activated that thing up. Those things still scare the heck out of me. Uh, and we're going to go back. We're going to get into that area that Saren has locked down. Or at least try to. Okay, so actually I don't know where we're going. I really don't know where we're going. So, like, I'm looking at the map. I actually can't go through there. Oh. Okay, so I guess we're going under the security room. My mistake. So, here we go. More Mass Effect as I run into statues and everything because apparently that is what I do. Right, that's my armature. Anyway, so we were in the security room. That's where we were. But now we're going to go th there, I guess. I, I have no idea if that's actually where we want to go. I'm just assuming it is. And by the looks of it, yes. I believe last time I... Last time... Yeah, I think last time we came here, but we couldn't actually do anything. Man, my squad looks great. I don't really like the white armor. Because for me, white armor doesn't really help with camouflage. That's usually why you wear armor as like special forces or anything. Which I never understood why like clone troopers and stormtroopers in Star Wars wear white armor. But anyways. Cool. Oh, okay, so this is close to where we were at the beginning. So now if I look at the map, yeah. This is legit where we started the game. Or, not the game. This is where we started this planet. So we're gonna go through here, I guess. Because the Mako should be here. Yep. Yeah, the Mako is still there. And that is good. Oh boy, and now we are having some Austin Powers moments again. Okay, anyways, so yeah, Tally, you're smart for saying let's take the vehicle. And same with Rex saying, oh, firepower will be great. Okay. This is nice. Nice drive in the water with my six-wheeled tank. Armored vehicle, it's not a tank. And I do agree with Tally on that. They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong, though. Oh, look at that. Bad guys. And look at that. Synthetic enemy kills. Nice. There's a lot of, uh... Yeah. I'm, like, looking at it, and it's like, there's a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness, like, there's so many achievements. What? I'm, I'm just looking at everything and it's like, romance subplot. Oh. 
So I know what I'm going to be doing at some point. Nope. Die. There we go. Honestly, that's probably the easiest way to get rid of the geth. It's just running over them. And now I'm thinking there's probably going to be geth armaments or something. But we will see. That looks like a waterfall or a stasis shield. I don't know. Okay, I guess we're not taking the Mako anymore. And we're in an elevator yet again. Wow. Man, elevators are great. Not actually. But. I mean, they're not bad. They really aren't that bad. Oh. Vigil. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent. Oh, through the is that a? Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any. What is this? Unlike the other that passed recently. I'm wondering what this is. Like, it might be a VI. Interesting. Okay, so that's good. That that's one thing I like about this. They can translate and everything. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same. So Vigil is a Prothean. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government. As it was with us, and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space. Oh, okay, that just brought in a whole bunch of things. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. Reapers can wipe out the council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was interesting. Okay. So, we were under attack. The Reapers huh. seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation. This actually explains a lot of the questions I had. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is powerful. This is actually, like, super interesting. Like, you're learning how Their fleets advanced across every central region of the galaxy. and why they destroyed it. Nice. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. You said you brought me here for a reason. So I'm, I'm wondering if... The conduit is the key. Um... Oh, okay, that makes sense. This was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. 
one that linked directly to the citadel the hub of okay the okay that's probably why the conduit's not a weapon it's a back door onto the citadel what happened next we severed all communication with the outside and our facility went dark the personnel retreated underground into these archives to conserve resources everyone was put into cryogenic stasis I was programmed to monitor the facility. So are they dead then or no? The danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Oh, so he just ran out of energy, couldn't wake them. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You should have fought. We were a few hundred against a galactic invasion. So this is actually pretty pretty interesting, like Yeah, I don't... support of essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their parts were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis parts of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. Hmm. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down and you killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of... Wow. Okay. So... The Prothean VI had to, like, kill them. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. Okay. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the key... Okay, come on, Vigil. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel Relay. After decades of feverish study... Yeah, this is a lot of, like, information that's just pouring into my brain right now. I'm learning more about the lore of Mass Effect. ...to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside... Still doesn't explain why Saren joined at the beginning, or how he even found Sovereign. ...override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Hey. Is there any way we can stop them? There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. So, maybe we're destroying Sovereign in this one? But it doesn't make sense because there's three mass effects. So, and then Andromeda. I'd never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's Okay, let's do it. Call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. I need to grab that thing from him. Oh, I guess I did. What is happening? Okay. So we're gonna continue this next time because that was that's a great place to end. We now know what happened to all of them. All the proteins. So stay tuned for more. We're gonna we're gonna use the conduit to get back to the citadel, and that's gonna be interesting. So stay tuned for more. If you guys want to be notified when that video goes up, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And while you guys are clicking on stuff, make sure you guys click on the links down in the description to follow me on social media and Twitch. There you have it. That is more Mass Effect. Be sure to stay tuned for more as we continue this quest in following Saren. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.